take a second and think of your boss. When was the last time you said no to your boss? Was it last week? Last month? Last year? Do you think that saying no makes you look unprofessional, less responsible? Or are you afraid of hurting the ego of your boss? That's OK. <laughs> You're not alone. I felt that too. Let me take you about 11 years ago in the past. Here I am, working in my dream company. My first assignment has been well appreciated, and it's a good feeling because the management is now showing more trust in me. And before I know, I'm working on not one, two, or three, but seven projects together with the conflicting deadlines. And every time I'm given a project, I can hear myself say, yes, boss, oh, that's OK. I'll handle it, no problem. But I am not working on these projects anymore. I'm more like juggling them. And I know when I'm juggling more balls than I can handle, I will drop one. And that's exactly what happens. I drop one. No. It does not matter that I'm still holding the other six. What matters is that I've dropped one. It's a blow to my early career. My client is not happy. My boss is not happy. And I am embarrassed. Ashamed of my mistakes, I decide to quit. And so I resign. But I'm confused. What did I do wrong? What did I do to deserve this? And then it hits me. I had been saying yes when I should have had been saying no. So in the years that followed, I learned the art of saying no. Yes, I'm known to be bold, direct, even more direct than the Dutch, <laughs> and efficient, dependable, productive, and someone who never misses a deadline. Let me share with you my simple secret to effectively saying no. Step one, do your homework. When faced in a situation like this, ask yourself, do you really have to say no? Maybe you can make space in your agenda by shifting some of the deadlines. Maybe you can take the help of your colleague or a friend. Think of these possibilities before you decide to say no. Step two, request, never inform. This is the only and the best way to avoid hurting any egos. Even the sweetest bosses do not like being informed. So request your boss to delegate the new assignment to someone else in your team. Step three. Explain. As a follow-up to your request, explain to your boss why it's not possible for you to take on the additional responsibilities given your existing deliverables and deadlines. When you do that, you make a case for yourself. Step four, turn the tables around. Your boss always has a better overview of all the projects and he or she is also in a better position to shift the deadlines in your agenda or take the help of your colleague. So turn the tables around and ask your boss for help. Now at this point, you and your boss are working together in a team and you're actually trying to help each other out. Unfortunately, not every story has a happy ending. I was once threatened by my boss. Yamini, if you cannot handle all this work, I'm going to replace you with someone who can. What would you do in such a situation? I'll give you a bonus tip. Keep calm and be firm. That's all you need. 
you need to be firm and polite and tell your boss that you will try to finish your existing responsibilities as early as possible, but you're not making any promises. And for those of you who are wondering what happened to me, no, I was not fired. By saying no properly, you can actually prove yourself to be more dependable, more professional, more responsible, more transparent, and someone who is committed to keeping the promises you've already made before you make any new ones. And all these qualities make you an asset to any organization. So go ahead and say yes to no. Thank you.